Okay, so I have one clip at the start, just a little zoom in, it was already like this. Then I added 4 clips and each lasts for 3 frames. Go at the start of the first one, move 2 frames and make a cut. Then go at the start of the second clip, move 1 frame and cut it. Duplicate both of them, the nested, apply a luma key on nested sequence and change the blend mode to linear dutch. Play around with the luma key settings, it will depend on your clip, but I'll write down in the description my settings if you wanna check it out. Now repeat the same steps for the rest of the clips. Highlight all and nest it, add transform, go at the end and keyframe scale as it is, then go at the start and scale it up a bit. I scaled it up to 110, keyframe rotation at the end to 0 and minus 3 at the start. Next thing that we'll do is this whip pan transition, create an adjustment layer, go in between two clips, move 3 frames to the right and trim the layer, then 6 frames to the left and trim it again. Apply offset on the adjustment layer, keyframe shift at the start, then move at the end and I want the transition to go to the left, so I'm going to decrease the first value for one full cycle. Next you wanna add blur, change the dimensions to horizontal, keyframe blurriness at the start and at the end to 0, then go in the middle and increase it to something like 300. For the last effect we'll have to use After Effects for rotoscoping. Open up After Effects and rotoscope the subject. Once you're done, click on Freeze and import it in Premiere. Leave both the original clip with the background and the rotoscoped one, we'll use both of them. Put the rotoscope clip at the top and the original clip at the bottom. Duplicate the original video, move two frames to the right, trim it and click on Add Frame Hold. Create a mask, it doesn't have to be precise. Decrease the feather to zero, change the position to left or right as you wish and scale it up. Now we'll repeat the same process until the end of our clip. So again, move two frames to the right, duplicate it, trim it and add frame hold. Create a mask, set feather to zero, move the position and change the scale. I did this six times in total. Once you're done, nest all of the frame holds together. Apply posterize time to nest sequence and I'll change it to something like 20. For you, it may be different. Just try it out and see what works the best for you. Open up nested sequence and now cut only the first frame of each frame hold and change the blend mode to linear dodge. So that way it will appear with flashes on. At the end I added white solid color and changed the blend mode to difference. And I added this overlay right here and I changed it to difference as well. Solid color is 2 frames long and I placed it in between these two clips. And I did the same for the overlay, I just extended it to 2 more frames, so it's 4 frames in total. Okay, so now I want to show you one plugin that's completely free. I'm using free pack from AEJuice and I don't know how I haven't heard about them before because I checked their website and they have really good stuff. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in getting this free pack. So go to their website and click on free plugins. It works with both Premiere and After Effects, but I'm using Premiere today, so go to the window, extensions and you'll see a free pack. Just click on pack manager and it will appear. You can see a menu with bunch of effects, glitch, film noise, liquid elements, shape elements and so on. And it's really easy to use, either double click on the effect or drag it into the timeline. I wanna use something like this and I'll put it right here, that way we get that VHS look that I really like. And I'll change the blend mode to difference. So I'll leave it like this and if you stay till the end, now I'll show you how to create one more effect. I want to do CRT effect on this clip right here, apply Venetian blinds, change transition to 20, direction to 90, width to 8 and leave the feather to 0. Then add wave warp, change height to 1, direction to 20 and speed to 2. The rest of the settings will stay the same. At the end I've done some color grading and I added sound effects. I'll share two different sound effects that I used in this video, so check out the description for that. And that's it! If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe, because I post this type of tutorials every week. If you try out something from the tutorial, feel free to tag me on Instagram, so that we can support one another. Thank you so much for watching, see you next week!